earth the only planet known to maintain life a product of scientific phenomena and sheer chance this blue planet in space holds the past present and future of our very existence as intriguing as space is you don't have to go far to find the most interesting dynamic and beautiful celestial objects out there earth has a surface ocean of water an oxygen rich atmosphere and a comparatively powerful magnetic field even though we call it our home there is still so much we have to learn about our own planet so what does makes this planet so special earth has long been the talk of ancient scientists philosophers and others as they tried to place us in the universe we live in although the idea of a round earth had been put forward by greek mathematicians since 6th century bc it wasn't until eratosthenes around 240 bc that the circumference of the earth was estimated the 16th century brought about the heliocentric model where we discovered through the help of nicolaus copernicus johannes kepler and galileo galilei that the sun is the center of the solar system not the earth today we now know that we are the third planet from the sun and one of four terrestrial planets earth actually takes 365.25 days to orbit the sun once which is why every 4 years we have a leap year to account for the 0.25 extra days in our year earth's rotation is roughly 23 hours and 56 minutes not exactly 24 hours this is because we use a solar day instead of sidereal day to measure our time the earth's rotational axis is roughly 23.5 degree to the plane of the solar system this axial tilt is what gives earth such varied seasons earth has a reasonably dense and compact atmosphere it consists of mainly 78% nitrogen 21% oxygen and 1% argon with trace amounts of other gases like carbon dioxide water vapor is also present in the atmosphere it is this water vapor that makes clouds in the atmosphere ozone is also present in a special layer in atmosphere called the ozone layer this ozone absorbs a lot of the harmful ultraviolet radiation from the sun which helps permit life on land without it earth would be a dangerous place to go outside for life forms like us the atmosphere also performs some important life saving functions the atmosphere provides useful gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide causing small meteors to burn up before striking the surface and even moderates temperature around the globe without the atmosphere retaining some of the heat from the sun the earth would be a far chiller planet the atmosphere also drives the water cycle which is one of the most essential life system for us earth has a comparatively thin crust underneath which is a hot and active mantle underneath the mantle is the planet's core consisting of what is thought to be iron and nickel earth is the densest planet in the solar system and this is mainly due to the core the core is also where the magnetic field of earth originates this magnetic field also serves life on the ground as it diverts solar winds around the planet and also to its poles causing beautiful aurora the most common color for auroras on earth is green due to the solar winds interaction with atomic oxygen in the atmosphere earth has the largest moon relative to the size of the planet in the solar system the moon influences our ocean tides through its own gravity which pulls at the water in our oceans however these tidal forces could also be the reason earth has such active plate tectonics so how does earth our home came into being and brought about life earth was neatly orbiting the sun as a rocky mass 4.5 billion years ago no organisms could survive there at that time radiation from the recent supernova kept the planet extremely hot oxygen was non-existent 
In addition, incredibly massive meteorites and asteroids frequently slammed onto the surface. The earth got so hot it began melting. Heavier materials sank to the bottom and lighter ones rose to the top. This transformation created the earth's layer core and mantle crust atmosphere and magnetic field. Without it, earth would be blasted by harmful rays from the sun. In the late Hadean eon, the earth was still in its late bombardment stage. There is no life. Temperatures are extremely high with frequent volcanic activity and harsh environment. The moon is formed around this time probably due to protoplanet collision into earth. In addition, there is reason to believe that these collisions could have sparked the chemical building blocks for life DNA. Instead of a molten state, the earth started to cool down, water vapor condensed to form oceans, and the earth cooled down enough to create continents. Photosynthetic organisms appeared between 3.2 and 2.4 billion years ago and began enriching the atmosphere with oxygen. Single celled organisms consume the energy from the sun and as a waste product they fill the oceans and atmosphere with oxygen. As oxygen fills the atmosphere, Earth's ozone layer thickened. A thicker ozone layer enables life to diversify on land. After their evolution, humans have struggled to survive or maybe Earth has. 5 billion years to build the Earth and only several years to rear it. But anything else in space ever be as beautiful and welcoming as this, our home planet,